In the last episode, we've seen how the intuitive compass works. So now let's look at how it applies to beauty and fragrance industry. The fragrance industry in the United States has been losing for the past few years 1% of its consumer base every year. So brand strategists are really focused about getting to that white space on the market to seek opportunities for new products and new consumers. So what they do is they're very focused on results and they come up with pretty conceptual ideas for new fragrances. They live in the northeast quadrant. When actually your, your consumer, the, the exact people they want to go after, have a very instinctual relationship to fragrance. Fragrance brings them to emotions of the past, memories of the past, places of the past, and consumers buy fragrances actually in a rather playful manner. They don't really have a result in their head besides really playing and self-entertaining themselves. So as you can see, there's not much novel app between where the brand strategy is coming from and where the consumer lives. Hard to reconcile both. Same, marketers want the best creativity for the perfumers, and the perfumers as a consumer lives in the Southwest Quadrant. For them to create fragrances is first and foremost a self-entertaining process. That's their passion. That's what they thrive for. And their relationship to the fragrance itself is through their instinct as well. So again, marketers want to get to the perfumer's best creativity, but they again approach them from a northeast quadrant with briefs that have been generated through a very result-driven approach and rather conceptual ideas to reach people who don't live at all in the Northeast Quadrant. There's not much of an overlap. So, pretty much, we're thinking backwards. We're trying to enhance an industry, but we're still taking it from the wrong angle. And what I say is that we live in a boxing ring. Why? Because people are working very hard to get results, and they're squeezing their brain with new ideas, when actually they're not reaching the people they want, both the perfumers and the consumers. So now, who wants to live in a boxing ring? It's a pretty uncomfortable place, is it? So no wonder we developed a model that's very hard to sustain. And it's also true in many other industries. Here, we've been discussing the fragrance industry. In the next episode, we'll be looking at the dilemma of Hewlett Packard's CEO and how to create long-term value in an IT company. So look for the next episode.